Hey, what's up, fellas? We're back out here at White Sands Proving Grounds again today, and one of the constituents of product development is worst case scenario testing. So, one of the questions that I had to answer today is how dangerous can this equipment get under the worst conditions possible? So, in addition to that, our secondary objective was to design an ignition procedure that writes these hazards out of its protocol. So, let's take a look at this boiler for an autoclave that I've built, and let's see what we've got. I really wish that wind wasn't blowing the wrong way. It's messing up the true size of the steam cloud. I'm half tempted to turn the machine. Seems like a little too much fuel. Let's turn that down. Okay, we'll turn this blower back up to five amps where we was before. Keep that at five amps. 7.3 amps on the fuel. Get steamed out. We're making about 300 something degree steam. Oh yeah, fuel's way too high. Okay, so here is one of the first successful ignition procedures I did. If we start off with just propane, some high propane and low air, and we then ease into the air, and we let this thing preheat for a while. Lighting this thing up like that doesn't make any noise. You don't have any pops or backfires, none of that. If you do it too uh, lean, you might get a little bit of popping and reverberation. So we just go with high propane, low air, on the initial ignition and that's pretty safe there's not enough oxygen in there to get an explosive burn so that's the safest thing to do so essentially you see here I am now turning on the diesel we're going to transition see we're getting a couple of puffs there we're now running with um, turning the air up a little bit more to compensate for that addition of fuel and right there I've just turned off the propane we have now successfully transitioned from the propane ignition fuel to the diesel running fuel. And this would uh, not need to be done with waste oil. You could just go straight to waste oil. We got a good decent burn. So far so good. I blew the cover off in testing. There's some do's and don'ts on this, and that's what I've learned today, is what not to do. I don't want to get anybody hurt or killed. What am I preheated about 140 watts there. All right, guys, one more look at these explosions we've got going on here. Essentially what happened was I put too much fuel into the system trying to ignite it, and I caused a levee cloud. So anytime you see this levee cloud, you don't want to push the ignition button because it's going to ignite that cloud. I blew the burner out by adding too much fuel and then hit the ignition button. I shouldn't have done that. Here's another one with the blower at half power. And as you can see with the blower at half power, it's really nothing to be worried about at all. So as long as the ignition procedure has a 35% blower power written into it, we're gonna be just fine. 